This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 25. He's on the run. And down he goes around the 32-yard line. So the keeper goes for about seven yards. That makes it third and three. Now he's scrambling. They keep it on the ground and get the first down. Give credit to the big boys up front. They did an excellent job of allowing the back to get nice yardage there. From their own 39-yard line, first down. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Impressive pass rush right there. Well, this offense is running plays that are taking way too long to develop, giving the defense plenty of time to get after the quarterback. And boy, they're putting a lot of pressure on. Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. He lets it fly. And a great catch downfield. Tackle made at about the seven yard line. It's really difficult to cover somebody this fast. You can't stay with him in a one-on-one -on -one coverage. And even when you double team him, he still has the speed to beat you. You just have to hope that the timing is off between him and his quarterback. So after the big pass play, we have a first and goal. like this and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. This is the eighth play of this drive. Ready, Scrambling around. Makes a move and he's in for the touchdown. Defense let the quarterback scramble in for the score. The defense had the offense beat there initially. It took a great run to get that in. He makes the PAT. So that's an eight-play, 74-yard drive. And the result, seven points. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. And a great job that time on defense. Good job here, but let me tell you something. That wide out was left out to try that time. Woo. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Quick strike, and he drops it. That brings us third and 10. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike, check Mike, Mike six, Mike Go four! Go! He's going to try and scramble. So that'll make it fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. He's tackled at the 33. 
The Wildcats really got the job done on that first drive, and they took the crowd out of this thing. They sure did, and I was really impressed with the execution by the quarterback. It's tough to be able to communicate with your linemen and not to mention your wide receivers. I thought he did a very nice job of showing great poise, keeping his composure, and, and leading them to some points. We'll see what he can do here this next time out. Little handoff, and he's taken down right around the 32-yard line. It's second and 11. Ball on their own 32. Kansas State is up seven. Ready? Here's a throw. I don't think he got anything on that. down 10 to go ball on the 49 and they make the stop at the 47 yard line Scrambled. Loose football. And they fall on the loose ball. Tackle around the 43 yard line. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Goes to the tight end and knocked away. The pass was right on target, so that took a perfectly timed hard hit to knock it free. Strong defense to deny the completion. He doesn't want to touch back here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's out to the 30. He's tackled around the 35-yard line. He got the ball, and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big-time speed. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. They'll get him in the backfield. That's a loss of two yards on the way. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 38 yard line. It's third down. Hey, check Mike, check Mike, Mike six, Mike six. Red two. Red seven, red seven. He's scrambling. They bring him down. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Excellent punt. From the 15. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. 7-0, 
Wildcats. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. They coughed up the pigskin the last time they had the ball. Let's see if they can hold on to it this time. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Kansas State is up a score. So the halfback gets only two on the draw play. In your face. Check 59. Here they come. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. They get this one off and it's a beauty. He'll take it from the 18 and down he goes at the 25 yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He gets to about the 34-yard line. That brings up second. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. Makes it to the 44. From the 44-yard line, first down. Here's a handoff, left side. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. You know that saying, get your keys out, because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. First and goal, and a touchdown ties it, folks. He fights forward to about the seven. Experience that this safety has, you can read plays very quickly and be in just the right position to make a stop near the line of scrimmage. It's third and goal, and they're about four yards out. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike, check Mike, Mike six, Mike six. Today, two. Hey, kill, kill, kill. This guy's got a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I mean, the ball is right there. All he has to do is secure it. How often do you get a chance to see a defensive lineman with an interception? And he couldn't hold on to the football. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Wisconsin, the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kansas State's running ability is what we've been talking about and looking at all week long, and that's what we thought would be on full display. But it's been the air game, Kurt. Yeah, it's an interesting move here, Brad. For a team with a star in the backfield, I'd expect them to try to establish the ground game a little bit more. But still early in this game, we're seeing them following this trend to see if it continues here in the second half. He's taken down at the 40. That's a game of 15 on the ball. First down. From their own 40-yard line, first down, Kansas State holds a four-point lead. They got him for a loss. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down right around the 46-yard line. That'll bring up third and four. They're about four yards away here on third down. Watch the screen. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Ready? Round 50. He's on the run. Wisconsin's going to use their first time out of the half here. And this one is a beauty. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Now he's scrambling. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at about the 35. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 35. Go four. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. And he's level at the 42-yard line. And Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. Great catch. He's all the way. Touchdown. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he tacks on the extra point with a three-play, 80-yard drive. And they put up seven points. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Wildcats know, I think, that at some point, they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game and the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running... It's a fumble. He picks it up. Tackle made at about the 27-yard line. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick. 
hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. And they got it. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Wisconsin is up by three. Scrambling around. And he's taken down at the 20. Check, check. Answer, answer. He's going to try and scramble. He gets sacked on the play. They couldn't get him blocked up that time. We'll probably be hearing his name for some time to come because he's only in his first year on the field. So with a half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. The kick is up, it's got the distance, and he just drilled it from long range. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. So our score, Wisconsin 13, Kansas State 7. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Halftime of a game that has been a pass rusher's dream. I lobbied to get the cameras to try to follow these offenses into the locker room. If I had to guess, without benefit of having that camera, I would say that the quarterback is leaning over to the offensive coordinator and going, Psst, hey coach, max pro, max protect, all that. I think it'll work. Yeah, we need some extra guys in to, to help keep me upright. And you know, listen, this, this is, it's always a team thing. I know it sounds silly, but it's not always on the offensive line. I mean, quarterbacks come up to the line of scrimmage, they see the blitz. Receivers need to know when they're hot. He needs to get the ball out of his hands in a hurry. So the running backs need to work together to pick up the blitz when it comes. And so it's going to be a team effort, but I definitely think it's more, let's get the ball out of my hand a little bit quicker, get it to the playmaker, some quick screens, some quick tunnel passes. And then when you do take those shots that are slow developing, yeah. How about a little max protect, keep a tight end of the ball game, keep a running back in the block, so I have time to take a shot down the field. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. Welcome back to the action. The second half just about set to begin, and we got a tight game here. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Wisconsin, up six. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. That brings up second and third. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. Hey, check Mike, check Mike, Mike, six, Mike, six. Red, two minutes. Go, 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 go. Gets out to around the 32. That's a deep turn. That makes, that makes it third and three. Double tight, double tight. Go down, go down. Mike, six. Mike, six. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Six. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. And that brings up fourth down. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. <laughs> Booming kick. Tackle made at the 35. Right, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol. And hurry up, tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49. Three down, three down. Ready? 
Gets to about the 47-yard line. Runs right for a nice game. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Quick out to his receiver. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. He scrambles. He's wrapped up for the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Second down and 12. Ball on the 31-yard line. Pressured and brought down. That makes it 30 and 15. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Pass incomplete. Nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down. The defender made a solid effort to get to the ball there. Nice stop. Kicks up, and it's good. Great snap and a perfect hold, and he just had an awesome follow-through. Everything went right there on that long field goal. 13-10, Wisconsin. Kansas State gets set to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Wisconsin has a three-point lead. And they make the stop at the 26-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. The safety came up from the secondary and made a nice, solid tackle. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own 26. He's scrambling. And they get the sack. That makes four sacks today. Well, this speed is difficult to defend because you have to try to keep them off balance so they can't use their quickness. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Red two. They go with a run, and he's going to be stopped short. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. For Wisconsin, they've been coming after the quarterback all day long. Good pass rush by these guys today. The contributions from this defense is one reason they've got the lead. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And they get him in the backfield for a loss.
from their own 41 yard line. Second down. There's a strike complete. He's down. Number 27 on the tackle at the 48 yard line. That'll bring up third and six. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they finally push him out at the 24-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 24-yard line, first down. Three down, three down. Check 59, Mike. Green, Mike 59, Mike the 59. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. Brought down at the 22-yard line. Gain of five on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. And here's another third down. On the ball, on the ball. Black Black Black. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. He's tackled right around the 14-yard line. So at the end of the third quarter, Wisconsin leads 13-10. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now it's the fourth right, right, quarter, right, and this will decide it. I got you, punk. Watch 14, watch 14. Ready? Punk. Punk, 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 punk. Tackle at the 13. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 13 yard line. Gain as he works the right side. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Touchdown, and that's going to give him the lead. That option was so smoothly executed. He looked totally in control on that keeper. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. So it's second down and about two yards to go. On the ground, up the middle. Gets to about the 34-yard line. That's a deal one on the play. That'll make it third and one. Bring him down at the 44-yard line. He got the ball, and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big-time speed. First and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. 
The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. Goes out of bounds around the 44 yard line. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Just under three to go in regulation. He heaves it to the end zone. Touchdown, and that puts them on top. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he hits the PAT. Wisconsin ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's been an impressive game by this safety, Kirk. You know, I've been very impressed with this guy's ability to read plays and just react so quickly. He's got such amazing instincts out there that it always seems to be in the right place at the right time. To me, this guy just has instincts. He's got a nose for the football. He always seems to find his way to the ball carrier no matter where the ball goes. You've got to think that one reason they are ahead is because of the boost he's given them. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He's on the run, and he can't get away from the pressure. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes at the 26. Here comes the pressure. I mean, this is almost getting ridiculous. That is sack number eight. This guy's going to have to spend a half an hour in the ice tub after this game. It's just been shot after shot all day long. Where's the offensive line? The sack makes this a fourth and very long. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he's tackled at the 47-yard line. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. And he's taken down around the 33-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 33. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Kansas State's called their final timeout. Gets out to about the 28-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. One yard. From the 28-yard line, it's third down. Mike six. Red two. Yellow three. Kill, kill, kill. Gunner three. They go. Well, a lot of 
frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. So it's fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. Under a minute left in the game. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he nails the long field goal. I wouldn't be surprised if they just squib it here. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Wildcats coaching staff and the entire team knows that this is the guy that can win it for them. The offense has to find a way to get the football into the hands of this running back, whether it's a, a simple toss sweep or maybe a ball out of the backfield where he can catch it in space. Any way that they can get the football to him to see if he can spring one or maybe get the field goal range or who knows, maybe take it to the house. Quick pass. He's taken down at about the 31. And he stops the clock with a spike. They're about four yards away here on third down. So this is it right here. One last play and one last chance to win the game. If they can get the Hail Mary, they'll pull out the miracle win. He airs it out. Intercepted. And he is drilled at the 19-yard line. A great game here today in a tight one. 23-17, Badgers. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.